Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about my LaTeX template. It's not specifically for papers, it's not specifically for notes, it's kind of just like my catch-all thing where I just put stuff into it and if I don't like something for a particular format, I just remove it. So let's take a look at my template. Mm -hmm, that is not the right one. I'll just do it the easy way. So my template uses a variety of packages. It is by default 120 lines. As far as uh, some of these LaTeX files go, not too big. I've seen some class files that are like 800 lines long. Um, I use right now, this is just like what I have right now, subject to change infinitum. It could change every day, any day, at any time. Um, but I use a 10 point article document class. I use title sec for really good titles, geometry for uh, customized margins, um, titling, <laughs> is that really how it's pronounced? Um, that's also for uh, title things. Uh, wrap fig for wrapping text around figures, blind text so I could easily put some lore and some content in there to see how the formatting would look. Comment, this lets you have the uh, comment environment, so begin, end, comment, and that way you could just put blocks of stuff in there. X color for um, dealing with colors better, graphic X and the graphics path are for putting in pictures and figures. Um, Bibliotech and my bib file, that's for bibliographical references. Fancy header, that's for, I use that specifically for a really nice footer on my document and it also can do good, really good headers. Appendix for appendixes at the end of the file, if I was gonna do like a paper with having items in an appendix. Uh, caption allows for subcaptions on subfigures. Um, caption, subcaption, both. Soul allows uh, highlighting and then I also have this one, um, uh, LOT and LOF depth um, on subfigure package. This one actually, I believe, uh, conflicts with um, the subcaption package, I believe. So it really just depends on which one I want to use. I got to do notes, which I just did a video on. I have if draft, so I can specify if my art, if my document is a draft file or not. Um, the input encoding UTF-8. And then hyperref apparently is something that we have to put in at the end of your use package section. And so I did. I don't like my links to be colored in my documents and I do like them to open up in new windows. This is kind of like the HTML A tag where you have it uh, opening into underscore blank. So it always opens a new web page. Uh, beyond that, um, I have no paragraph indentation because I don't like it. Uh, my footer section, this is all the stuff for a very fancy, nice looking footer. Um, and then redefine plain page style for chapter pages. If I was using chapters, I mean, I don't get chapters in the article document class. Uh, I don't think, I think that's specifically for the book document class. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Uh, my title block, I usually just do title author and then it's if it's in a pdf it's hot my my name is hyperlinked to my email address and then the date is just the current date um, and then begin document so then we actually begin writing the document so if i wanted to do an entire specific title page i can uncomment this section and have my own specific title page and format that however i haven't had a need to do that i don't really care to do that at this point i typically just make my title and then i put an abstract uh, remove any styling from this page like my fancy footer and then break the page. And then after that, I have a lot of stuff for a table of contents. Uh, what this will do is that it will let me see uh, three levels deep on my table of contents. So section, subsection, and sub, subsection. Um, then it will display the table of contents. It will add a specific page to my table of contents. And um, yeah, some of these things, it, like the add to contents, it's adding a specific item to the table that's already automatically generated based on the section tags. So like if I wanted to add uh, my references, my, uh, my list of tables, my list of figures, uh, the table of contents itself, um, you could do that with these commands. And I believe that's part of the some package. Um, 
the main document. So this is where all of the document content would go. Everything before that was just the preamble describing the formatting. Um, and then the bibliography, I have it uh, a section that's not added to the table of contents. Um, but then I add the add contents line references because I don't want this section to be listed here because it actually displays it twice. So I don't know, this is what works for what I want. I'll show you guys a preview of what that looks like. Um, print bibliography will actually print out my references that I use. And then if I was ever going to use an appendix, it is here. I can always just use it later. And this is basically my template that I can go through. I can change as needed and do whatever I want to suit my needs. Um, I will typically just use this to take notes, but if I wanted to write an actual like legit paper, I could use this or I could find some of the um, articles with a, starting with the letter R, which is something used by the R programming community. And they have that for like people who are writing their theses or thesis is. Um, if you're writing one of those, then um, they have like a collection of, you know, templates that include the style that specific universities use for their, um, you know, their thesis, their master's thesis, etc. And they also have style templates for um, academic and scientific journals. So if I was going to do something like that, I might just use those templates instead of having to rewrite everything from scratch. But if I'm going to do notes, or I'm just going to do some homework, or whatever I want to do, um, I would typically use this template. And this one is available on my GitHub in my templates repo. It's not one of the ones in the front, so you can go into my repos and search for templates, and it'll be in here under tech, and you have article. I also have one in here for um, Beamer. So if I was going to do like a slideshow, I default just to Frankfurt because I don't really care at this point. I haven't really needed to do this. Um, I got to say, though, I do like using uh, Beamer over PowerPoint. Sure, you can do a lot more with PowerPoint, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But for just to get something nice looking and just done, uh, Beamer gets it done in a way that's easier for me to understand than all the stuff going on with PowerPoint. And it's lighter weight, so... Um, you can find these templates in my templates repo if you want. And that is uh, my outline or my, uh, my template. Now I will go be going through like each of these packages in this LaTeX series I have, um, as well as just showing things I discover, useful things. Um, I think so far all I've covered is maybe Graphic X and BibLaTeX, and I think recently to do notes. So over time, I'll eventually get through some of these, and it's also useful for me because then I review the documentation beforehand so I don't sound like quite an idiot. But um, yeah, so that's my template. If you want to use it, feel free. All right.